Hi, I'm Realtor Sarah Morrow with Cell State Peak Realty. Welcome to episode one of Proper Tea Time. Joining me today is Colin Argus from the Longmont Downtown Development Authority. And uh, we're here to discuss that there are a lot of great areas of Colorado, but today we're going to be discussing why Longmont. As a realtor, I've noticed lately how longtime residents and natives simply don't realize how expensive their hometown is getting until they decide to move. Let's face it, living in a great town has a cost. That's how supply and demand works. But what characteristics make a town a great place to live in the first place? And which of these assets impact our assets? In other words, how do these characteristics increase our home values? Is it the mountain views, the arts and rec? Does the quality of schools and the crime rate and family-friendly vibe in the neighborhoods dictate our purchase prices? Or does it really boil down to location, jobs, and median income? In a nutshell, Coloradans thought Boulder was getting expensive at $600,000 back in 2013, and those very neighborhoods only eight years later are valued at well over 1.5 mil now. And while I'm not here with a crystal ball or even prepared to give educated predictions, one key indicator that Longmont is becoming the next Boulder is that we're not building a lot of new homes here. We really don't have that much land for that, frankly, so we're sprucing up what we've got. And when you see a downtown revamp itself the way that we are, you realize, oh, we have innate value and people want access to the facelifted resources that we have. Homes do need to be built and naturally developments are starting to spread outward. Um, but what you're paying for when you arrive here, even in the outskirts, is largely due to all the development and the facelift that we're doing right in the downtown area. And we're really not a metropolitan hub in look, feel, or cost here in Longmont, but that's really quite attractive in our post-pandemic world. Hi, Colin. Hi, Sarah. So let's start off by you telling us a little bit about what makes downtown's Longmont area so unique. Absolutely. There are a lot of old towns in this state. What's so great about ours? Yeah, well, thanks for asking. Um, you know, I feel like a couple words that come up often when people ask about downtown or talk about downtown is real and authentic. Mm. Um, and that relates to the people that are here. It relates to the small businesses that are here. Um, we don't have a lot of chains in downtown Longmont, really. It's all a lot of locally owned um, small businesses and, mm. and those small business owners are kind of the heartbeat of, of our downtown community, um, which is really great. So I feel like that's a, that's a big um, you know, thing that sets Longmont apart um, from a lot of communities around here. We had a, uh, a uh, consultant who came in and, and spoke to us um, and he works at communities all over the, the Front Range and even beyond Colorado, but he said, you know, Longmont really feels like one of the the last kind of freestanding cities and freestanding communities along the Front Range um, that hasn't been swallowed up as a suburb of you know Denver, Boulder, Fort Collins. So I think that's a that's a point of pride as well. Mm. So why why is ours? I've noticed ours is also larger in size, and therefore more entrepreneurs can come in and yeah. the sort of space. Like what 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 can you do in Longmont that you can't do downtown elsewhere? Sure. Yeah. So it's a it's a it's a unique downtown for sure. It's very like you said. It's it's long and linear. It's it's big. It's expansive, um, and um, you know part of that is kind of dating back to the the founding of the city really of the city of Longmont um, town of Longmont back then. But um, some settlers came over from from Chicago and formed the Chicago Colorado Colony. And mm. part of the uh, the land agreement was that um, they received a plot of land for their home, but then they also received uh, space on Main Street to start their business. And so some of those um, businesses are still here today, uh, or sorry, the, the buildings are still here today. So um, one example is the used book emporium. That's the, the oldest um, currently standing building in Longmont. They've still got a, a big um, hand crank freight elevator in the back. Um, and then um, another one is um, MA's Love, used to be um, actually J.C. Penney's meat market, J.C. Penney um, started the the retail business and kind of learned the dry goods trade here in Longmont. So hmm. that's kind of a fun, a fun, um, a fun point of history in Longmont. But um, but yeah, I feel like that kind of influenced um, the character and, and the historic charm that Longmont has. Um, we are a certified historic district. We're also a Colorado certified creative district. So there's a lot um, a lot of different things happening downtown. A lot of vibrancy, um, and yeah, a lot of things to enjoy. Awesome. Thank you for sharing all of that. Would you speak similarly, since we're on that topic of entrepreneurship and business growth, um, could you speak to the current volume growth that we're seeing in Longmont? What's driving that? I've noticed some new, really popular businesses coming into town. 
expansions, that sort of thing. What have you noticed and how is that impacting like the space we've got? Sure, yeah, yeah. Um, there's definitely been a, an influx of, of people, but also <coughs> businesses as well, um, especially over the last five or 10 years, there's been a lot of interest from um, you know, developers, multi-use uh, multi kind of um, development projects, but as well as just you know, businesses that have moved here from other communities. Um, there's been you know, a few businesses that have, have found downtown Longmont from places like Boulder and Louisville, um, just really liked the kind of the community oriented aspects of downtown and, um, and of Longmont as a whole. Um, so I think that's been a big kind of uh, draw for those businesses is, is the, the community feel. Um, there's also a, a really strong kind of just entrepreneurial spirit here in Longmont and um, people want to um, share their talents and their experiences and their knowledge with, um, with the rest of the community. So um, I feel like there's, you know, there's a good mix of people taking their dreams and, and moving forward with them and starting, but also, um, but also people finding Longmont from other communities and, and feeling like this is the right place for them. So are you seeing, I've noticed there are several family businesses even, mom and pop shops, or are you finding there's young, is it a combination of young entrepreneurs coming here? Is it people who've owned forever? Is it both? Yeah, I think it's, I think it's a, a mix of all that really. You know, we've got, like you said, the, the mom and pop shops that have been here on Main Street for 30, 40, 50 years here in Longmont. Um, and then, you know, there's other family owned businesses that have, have relocated, like I mentioned. Um, there's actually a couple new ones going to be opening here uh, in the near future on Main Street that are, are family businesses that have been in business for a long time that um, popped up here on Main Street. But then also, yeah, I mean, um, I feel like Longmont has a unique um, opportunity in the space that's available. Um, there's a lot of different, you know, a, a large variety of different types of spaces available. Um, and I think, especially over the past year, you know, the demand for space has changed a lot. You know, there's mm -hmm. been, um, you know, so many changes with office space and how people are looking at, you know, brick and mortar locations. So I think um, we have pr a pretty diverse offering of, of spaces available here in Long. Is it mostly craft breweries, restaurants, new I IT tech? What, is, what are you seeing? Um, that's a good question. You know, food and beverage is, has always been huge here in Longmont and the craft beverage scene for sure is, um, is probably one of Alive and well. <laughs> Certainly <laughs> alive and well. You could say that again. Um, you know, within Longmont, we've got tons, even just within downtown, um, we've got, you know, we've got, I don't know, six, seven breweries. We've got uh, a couple distilleries. We've got a cidery. Um, and yeah, I mean, I, Longmont certainly is a destination for, for craft beer and craft cocktails. And, 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 you know, there's nationally recognized restaurants. We've had um, Guy Fieri did a, a stop here with his diner, di diners, drive-ins and dives. Mm -hmm. um, and the Travel Channel, I think, featured, um, featured Georgia Boys Barbecue. I know The Roost was on um, Guy Fieri's show. And, um, you know, there's just a bunch of, of really wonderful, unique um, craft food and beverage establishments here in Longmont. So that's always been a, a really strong component of the, you know, the business community here in Longmont. Um, that tech piece is also, uh, is also growing strong. Um, we've had a couple different, um, you know, tech companies that moved here, um, over the past few years and have taken, you know, office space above a bank downtown or, um, just kind of utilized unique properties for, for that as well. So again, it's, it's a mix. Um, so yeah, hard to say, but all of that is alive and well for sure. Now I know I'm the realtor, but let's step away from uh, old town, downtown area for a second. Can you speak to what makes our neighborhood so desirable for families, for singles, and for seniors? I've noticed as a realtor, we're getting an influx of all of the above. Um, what do you notice about the outskirts, if sure, you will? Sure, sure. Well, downtown is definitely my area of expertise, but I also live here in Longmont. And, um, I grew up in Berthoud just down the road, and so um, not a lot to do in Berthoud back when I was growing up. So mm. we, we came to Longmont a lot and, um, and have enjoyed it. And my wife and I have owned a house here since 2015. Um, so yeah, I mean, Longmont has a ton to offer. Um, I feel like one unique aspect is kind of, it's got, it, it's, a, it's a pretty big city of, you know, close to 100,000 people now, um, but it's really got that small town charm, community feel. Uh, it's very welcoming and inclusive. Um, for anybody and everybody. So I think that's a big draw. Um, it's also, you know, we're, we're so centrally located, um, close to the mountains, close to Fort Collins, close to Denver. So it's easy access to really anything you want to do. Beautiful views. I mean, I live kind of close to McIntosh Lake and I go out there and I'm just blown away with how lucky I am to live somewhere where you can <laughs> see those views within, you know, 10 or 15 minutes of your house. Mm. Um, 
also, you know, the, the city amenities that exist, um, they're always improving them. They're always thinking of others, but, you know, um, the museum, the library, uh, multiple rec center facilities, there's so much to, to be done uh, in Longmont and, and tons of programming for families and the senior center is very active mm -hmm. um, as well. And, um, you know, there's a growing kind of nightlife uh, along with the, the craft beverage scene. Um, there's kind of a, a growing nightlife <coughs> scene for for those younger folks. So there really is, you know, lots to do for everybody. And, and I think anybody could probably find what they like and something they like to do here in Longmont. Yeah. I definitely like the arts and rec aspect of things. I mean, it's nice being near Boulder, Denver and Fort Collins, but I almost feel like we're a standalone city on our, I, if I'm going to play music or perform, I don't have to go to Fort Collins. Absolutely. I kind of like that. Absolutely. About the live music scene here. Yeah, yeah live music is another huge one um, in addition <laughs> to the, the craft beverages. And I think those kind of go hand in hand uh, for the most part. But Quite uh, agree. Yeah, you know, uh, there, you know, there's a ton of awesome local talent here in Longmont. Um, one event that I've worked on in the past is um, the Winter Walkabout Music Showcase. And so mm -hmm. we've, we've had been able to showcase, um, I think we had close to 50 performances um, in 20, 2020. We did an event in 2020, believe it or not. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, Anything that happened then is a big breakthrough. <laughs> so that was in February of 2020 before everything uh, hit the fan. But, um, right. but yeah, it was, it was really great to, to showcase all of the amazing local talented musicians here. And yeah, I mean, you know, thank you. you. Go to I was a, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for playing. <laughs> we look forward to having you back. Thank you, thank you. Um, but yeah, even just you know, a, a random brewery on a on a Wednesday night, you go in and there's a really talented live musician there. So, um, music and and creativity is a, a big part of the kind of the Longmont spirit and, and Longmont as a whole. Wonderful. Um, I know you just had a baby. I don't know a lot about this, the kid the kid scene. But <clears throat> can you speak to? I've noticed as a realtor. What makes our school system preferred over the school systems in the neighboring towns and in the area? Yeah. Why so, do people go so nutsy for that? Yeah. My little guy's only uh, 11 months old today, actually. Happy birthday, Jameson. He, he won't see this for years. But, ah, uh, happy birthday. <laughs> thank you. Uh, but uh, You haven't enrolled him anywhere yet? So, no, not yet. Oh, not geez, yet. Come but on. we're, we're going to hop on that open enrollment uh, as <laughs> yeah. soon as he's eligible because that, that's, that's. Is that a big draw? That's one, yeah. I, I believe that's one huge draw for the, the St. Rain Valley School District is that open enrollment choice. You know, you don't have to live in the heart of Old Town to go to Central Elementary. You know, you can, a lot more you can live anywhere here. Right. You can find a place that works for you and a location that works for you at a price point that works for you, but also take advantage of the, you know, the school system as a whole. Um, and, you know, they've also got this wonderful um, innovation center um, out on out by the museum yeah. that focuses on kind of the STEAM, STEM aspects, you know, science, technology, engineering, mathematics. Um, and there's a lot of, you know, IB opportunities, honors opportunities. So really, I think St. Ray Valley School District um, is, you know, rivals any, any top school system in the country for, for those opportunities for kids. So. Great. And do you, you said you've owned your home in Longmont for a while. Mm -hmm. Which neighborhood are you in? Uh, we are in, we're right by Lou Miller Park. Uh, oh, okay. I believe it's called Longmont Estates is our neighborhood. Yeah, nice. So just behind Longmont United Hospital there. I, uh, right, you said you're near the lake. Yeah. Highly desirable area. Yes, absolutely. I <clears> joked <throat> with my wife that uh, when we were looking at, when we put an offer in, I was like, you know, if anything happens, I fall off the roof or something, I'll just crawl over the hospital. We'll be fine. It's great. <laughs> so, but no, we, we love the, the neighborhood that we're in. Um, yeah. It, uh, it itself is just a great mix of, of wonderful people. They're yeah. so real, so welcoming, so kind. Mm. Um, mix of ages, you know, my, my one next door neighbor has been lived there for 40, 50 years um, wow. with his family, raised his whole family there, and now he's retired. Um, my neighbor on the other side, she um, is a uh, semi-retired and just moved in around the same time we did, um, but just really found Longmont to be the place that she wanted to be. And then we've also got some, um, some younger families that have moved in next to us. And um, it's just really a great, great mix of people and everybody, everybody gets along really well. So that's a nice segue. You heard me say earlier that <clears throat> that we don't really realize how quickly our properties are appreciating and gaining value until we look around and it's time for us to move. Could you speak to, you know, the fact that only eight years ago, some of the more desirable areas of Boulder, we thought they were expensive at five, six hundred thousand, and now they're up around one point five million in a short period of time. Right. First of all, do you see that sort of from where you're standing in your in your employment? Like, do you see that happening in Longmont? And second off, like, what what what? How are we going to deal with that? Yeah, how are I mean, we going to afford to live here? That's the, <laughs> that's the question of the year, right? Um, yeah, it, it's hard to say. You know, you know, 
housing costs are cer certainly rising um, all, all around the, the region and the state and the country um, for both good and bad. But, you know, I feel like, I feel like Longmont, um, you know, is able to maybe stay a little bit more even than some of the other communities. Like, I feel like, you know, pl prices are skyrocketing other places and prices are certainly rising here, but um, at kind of a more maybe sustainable amount. And I know, um, you know, obviously we're working to address the supply and demand issue with um, lots of new builds, there's lots of new construction going on. As you mentioned, we don't have necessarily a lot of space to um, expand outward, but, um, but I think more efficient use of space um, and, and some of those new builds should help to address that. So I feel like um, Longmont has a good chance to be, um, you know, a little bit more, have a little bit more stability and a, a be a little bit less volatile, but, mm. but you're the expert, so. <laughs> Thank you for that. Well, yeah, there's, there's certainly talk of us being the next NIWA, the next gun barrel, the next boulder. Um, and just, I guess we all just have to recalibrate if that happens and start yeah. making more money. And <laughs> <laughs> well, I know, you know, Boulder County, higher taxes. Boulder County is not going to go down in desirability. That's for sure. Right. It's, it's going to be a wonderful place to live for many years to come. So we've got that to look forward to for sure. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. You're very welcome. That's the proper tea.